Hello everybody, this is Little in Hawaii. Um, I've just come from swimming, so I'm sitting down just resting a little bit, and I thought I would make a little video to show you what you can do with uh, this download that I have on my in my shop. And it looks like this. I've taken one out, of course, there. So, But I printed this out onto some card. They look nice on photographic paper, you know, the shiny stuff. Not too shiny, but a little bit shiny. And um, so anyway, this is, this is how it looks. And they print out nicely. And they're all old photos. It was from a photo. Of, most of the photos are from a photo album. And so I thought I'd show you just a few of the items that I've done. I mean, nothing wonderful, but um, nothing really, really big. But just to show, give you an idea, um, first of all, I made a whole bunch of tags with these. And the tags look like... This. That's what they look like. I'll try and move that away. Oh my goodness. So these are tags that uh, actually they were inspired by a friend of mine. Anna Corber. She has a book and they are actually in, in her book on paper crafts. But anyway, these are how I made mine. And they all have the photograph on them. Some of them have photo corners, just an idea. I put a stamp on that little trim. And then, of course, some ribbon. So that's one. There's a set of these. Now, this another idea is just to put a tape measure. And that's two little... No, it's one little girl, actually, with a doll in a pram. I didn't have uh, the tags. I just made these out of Mandela that I copied out a little bit. This one is, uh, looks like a boy and a girl, or could be two boys. They used to wear skirts sometimes. Put a little stamp on it, button, some rickrack, and then some lace to tie it there. Another idea is to use just two photo corners and some black to tie it up with. So I put a photo corner there and a photo corner there. I do have a roll of photo corners, so I thought it's a good way to use them. Now this one is a little bit wonky, <laughs> because there was a little girl, and I wanted to put a little crown on her, and I got it too far down. So her poor little face is almost obliterated, but I put a little painted safety pin and some fluffy material, a little bit of lace trim for that one. This one I put a Scrabble piece and uh, two friends and some black rickrack. And this one is a, I don't know what that, red tile and some black rickrack and then some more old tape measure. And it's some friends sitting on the bumper of an old car, so that, that I thought that worked out pretty good. So those are the tags I made. Also another idea is to make a little booklet. And I put this couple sitting enjoying the sun on this. It's just a little booklet I made with some painted paper there. And then inside I put another one of these photographs which was like that and it's this one. It's this one. So I did that and folded it in half and just glued it there. And then I made some blank pages for a little notebook. Something to carry in your purse or your wallet. Another idea is to put it on some, I call it bingo card. I forget what it's called. Yeah, but anyway, put the photo on there with a little trinket here and that looks pretty nice because I like the background so you could put that in a book and the last one I'm going to show you is this I have um, a book of it it's a, called the friends book I think and it has pictures of old English cottages but with sayings and quotes 
and rhymes and a little kind of, well, this, for example, gives you an idea. It says, in gratitude for friends. So I tore one of the pages out of the book. It looks, it's like an album style. And on this page, I put, I cut out the, one of the little girls from here. It's this particular one. I just cut right around, fussy cut that. And then I put a beehive that was torn off of a serviette. And um, this looks like a number plate from a, a house or something. It's not real, it's fake. And tied it with some brown ribbon on that side. And it was two-sided, so I thought, oh, I'd better do the other side. So this side I put this little girl, and I put a frame around her, and so that you can't see much of her, but she is, um, that's probably the one, I believe that's the one I cut out. Oh no, it's, part, it's this one, that one. So I put her there, and then I put the frame around her, so you only see that part of her. And then some more of uh, an old serviette, a little piece of lace here. This could be a lovely book page, or whatever you'd want, it, and it, besides it's double-sided, so you could continue the theme and do more pages with two holes punched, and just put them all together with a nice cover. So it has a button, a bird, and some more of the page quote from here. And the other thing was, I just put this little piece from, I think it was from a bingo card with a seven, number seven on it. And then, of course, you've still got your nice blessing or it's kind of like a rhyme. It's from Margaret Sangster. Margaret Sangster. And on this side, there's also a couple of little rhymes. And I think that would be great. I'm going to tear out some more of the pages because there are a lot in the book and make another book and this could be one of the pages and it gives you the the size and where to punch the holes and how to put them together like that. So just an idea and you can find this in my shop for sale and um, I hope you enjoy playing with it. Let me know if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.